great news, the brand new Mac Mini with the M3 chipset is going to be up to two times faster than the original Mac Mini what had an M1 chipset inside of it. I want to give you all the details about this and also the M3 Pro model too. And of course I want to go over the Mac Mini 2024 release date and price as well. But first a quick summary of where we are with the Mac Mini. At the beginning of 2023 we had a big update to the Mac Mini. It got inside it the M2 chipset and also the M2 Pro. It is Apple's cheapest Mac with an M series chip inside it and brings fantastic value. And going for an M2 Mac Mini, it's great for anybody who owns say a mouse, a keyboard and monitor and for those who want to do daily tasks like web browsing and making a few documents and light video and photo editing. And the M2 Pro version of the Mac Mini pushes out this Mac Mini to some entry pro users who may be maybe studying or who may be wanting to do photo or music or video editing and this Mac Mini gives superb performance with a couple of extra Thunderbolt ports on the back too. Essentially for 2023 the M2 journey is now at a close. We've had every chipset from the M2 to the M2 Ultra and apart from the Vision Pro that's coming out in the early part of 2024 and also possibly the iPad Air that may also get an M2 chipset inside it, we are now looking towards the M3 journey. But a question you might be asking is how much power will the M3 and the M3 Pro give us? Well the great news is we do know that information because we've had that new iMac with the M3 inside of it and also we got the M3 and the M3 Pro in the likes of the MacBook Pro 14 and 16 inch models we can work out what's going to be happening. So for the M3 Apple have even said themselves that the M3 chipset is up to two times faster than the M1 chipset than what we got in the original iMac and this obviously will be the same with the Mac Mini because we'll be getting exactly the same chipset there. Then also the M3 Pro Pro as well, we're going to be looking up to gains of probably about 30 sort of 40 percent in speed increases over what we got with the original M1 Pro that came out in the MacBook Pros, what came out in 2021. So this is going to be great news to see these enhancements. But for the actual body design and things like this on the actual Mac Mini, it's probably all going to be staying the same. And this is going to be probably the main changes, just the chipsets inside of both of these models. Very similar to like what we've had with the MacBook Pros very recently. Also guys, just quickly at this stage, I do also want to mention any new leaks and rumours that come out for the new Mac Mini and even including the release date, they're not 100% proof they will come true. I can only present to you what I've been told and shown. However, if you are still watching this video, then you're as curious as I'm knowing what is being said about the next Mac Mini anyway. So then guys, this is the new Flexi Spot flexi chair the bs8 model and it's absolutely fantastic i really really love relaxing in this chair it's also great to work in too in fact it was quite easy to assemble as you can see right here getting out of the box and then getting all the parts together we actually managed to assemble this whole chair within about 15 minutes and it was really easy and the instructions were super helpful too this chair is absolutely fantastic. It has an S-shaped ergonomic design, as you can see right here, and it has this brilliant fiber velvet mesh, what's actually protecting my back and also my head here at the very top. It also has on the back of this chair down here, a contour lumbar support and back support too. So it's really, really good for me right here on the bottom of my back. It also has a nine level adjustable backrest here. So you can actually get it in the right position exactly for the user's height and even for my height here. So I like it around about there and I find it really comfortable for my lower back. There is also an arch shaped full coverage headrest here, which is really nice just to snuggle your head into while you're just maybe just pondering about things. It also has a zero pressure mesh seat cushion, what's completely breathable and also eco-friendly too. The chair also features armrests too. And the great thing about these armrests that we have right here is that we can actually adjust them to different multiple levels. So whatever feels just right for you to rest your arm on, you can get it perfect. The great thing is this chair even works really well with a flexi spot desk like my E3L that I have right here or it's fully height adjustable so I can adjust it and then just tuck myself in if I wanted to and I can even lower myself back down to the comfort that I like and get on with my work. 
So if you want to find out more information about the BS8, this chair right here, and also maybe get your hands on one as well, because it's really comfortable, like I said, make sure you check out the details. I mean, the link of the description of this video, because I have all the information about this chair and also some great offers too. So release date next of all. Now obviously we have had the new M3 chipsets released now in the MacBook Pro and also the iMac 2. So it does look like that the Mac Mini is definitely a desktop that does need an upgrade. Most likely in springtime we're going to be seeing updates to iPads. Probably nothing on the actual Mac sort of front because iPads are way overdue. So this basically leaves then most likely we'll see updates to the Mac Mini to get the M3 and the M3 Pro at WWDC 2024 what is around about about early sort of summer time so this is about early sort of June time so we could be getting a hand on these new chipsets inside the Mac mini around about mid sort of June time 2024 because this just makes logical sense for this to happen and also Apple to bring out the M3 Ultra in the likes of the Mac Studio and also inside the Mac Pro 2 so it's a full desktop upgrade so without the way guys let's talk about the Mac mini specs for the M3 and the M3 Pro and along with its prices too. So then starting out then with the Mac mini with an M3 chipset or the M3 Pro basically the actual design of the Mac mini is staying because at the end of the day the Mac Studio also is basically just a bigger version of a Mac mini so you would want to get that upgraded and new design as well as the Mac mini and as the Mac Studio is such a new design anyway it's not going to upgrade the design of the Mac mini any time soon but moving on for storage options we will still have 256 gigabytes of storage going all the way up to four terabytes ssd that's if you go with that m3 pro option so then for the cores wise this is where things are a bit different depending on which chipset you pick so if you get yourself an m3 chipset the normal one this will start out an eight core cpu and then also you would get a 10 core gpu too but obviously there are binned versions of the m3 version that could be coming out on the mac mini for the m3 and it's the same with the m3 pro the m3 pro goes up to a 10 core cpu but you can always get the 10 core cpu you to with this and then obviously you've got the GPU as well and this goes all the way up to an 18 core GPU but obviously there is obviously the option of the 14 core GPU too and again the same for RAM as well it starts at 8 gigabytes of RAM but this can go all the way up to 36 gigabytes of RAM obviously if you pick out that M3 Pro chipset you'll still have that aluminium unibody frame body that we have all the time and like I said it's not going to change and then for Thunderbolt 4 ports you'll either get two if you get the M3 or you'll get four Thunderbolt 4 ports on the back if you go with the M3 Pro there'll still be two times USB 3.2 ports a 10 gigabit Ethernet port available for both models but this will be standard on the M3 Pro and then also you get HDMI 2.1 the starting price for the most baseline version of the M3 with 256 gigabytes storage and 8 gigabytes of RAM will come in at 699 US dollars so as you can see this time there's lots of options for the 2024 Mac Mini and it looks like it's going to be another powerhouse. And on that note guys it's also time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please do press the like button and also at the same time if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time guys I will see you really soon. Take care. Bye bye.